I am in the leadership of Enfield Pride. We exist to promote community, fellowship, and support around lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer issues in the greater Enfield, Connecticut area. I attended the community conversation last week and was very grateful for the work done at the high school that night. However, we must not let the work end there. At the end of 2020, which is the last time we really have data, a study by the National LGBTQ Task Force indicates that black trans people have a 26% unemployment rate. That's twice as high as the unemployment rate for tra transgender people of all racial and ethnic backgrounds, and four times as high as the unemployment rate in the general population. The study also found other shocking disparities. 41% of black trans people have been homeless, more than five times the general population. 34% of black trans people have household incomes less than $10,000, more than eight times the general population. And nearly half of the black trans population has attempted suicide. You may think that these statistics don't mean anything, but we have queer people living in Enfield who are scared. They are scared for their safety and they are scared for their rights. This is exacerbated by a continuous stream of homophobic and transphobic speech coming from some of our elected officials. We are seeing more and more a growing chorus of voices that will push back against this hate. Therefore, we must come together to continue the conversation started last week and we must ensure that the voices that want all of us to live in a beloved community are louder than the hate. Thank you for your time. Okay, thank you.